Hello everyone and welcome to Carlton Tips. My name is Seb and today we are looking at doing more with the Elvis operator. Let's say we have a function called getName whose return type is a nullable string. If we use the Elvis operator, we can specify the behavior for when the name is null. So for example, we could call the name undefined and then we could use this later on in our code. But what if we want to do more than just provide a default value in the null case? Well, obviously we could call another function whose return type is a non-nullable string in this point, and that might work for most use cases. But if you just want to do a few smaller things, for example, log that you have hit the null case somewhere, uh, there is a shorter way. The right-hand side of the Elvis operator expects an expression. And an easy way to allow yourself to write a whole block of code where an expression is expected is the run function. So for example, if I wanted to log here, oops, uh, name was not set, and then return a default value of undefined, I could write it like so. Of course, what you do inside the run block is up to you. Generally, the thing to remember is, if you have a situation where the compiler complains that an expression is expected at a certain point, but you really, really want to do more than just one thing, you can use the run function, which allows you to pass a block, and you can do as many things as you want in there. Probably think a little bit before you use it and don't use it all over the place, but it's another useful tool to have in your Kotlin toolbox. That's it for this quick tip. See you in the next one and take care.